Hello, very is Christian, and welcome back to my computer in Fusion 360. And to the left, we have a small exercise. This is from the Facebook group, I mean, and I'm just going to do what I like to call a rapid modeling. I will just model through, uh, create this thing in Fusion. I will not stop and explain what the uh, different uh, tools do. I will try to mention all the tools I'm using. It might be a bit speedy sometimes. I'm using shortcuts, such like an E for. Uh, Effects to P for project and so on. So I would try to keep a quite high pace. My goal is to do this. It should be think something like yeah, a bit more than five minutes. Not much more, right? The first model I did was a bit over ten minutes. The first time I did it. So let's see if I can do it again. Uh, and if I remember what I did, uh, I'm gonna start with the profile here just to explain where I'm starting off, and then I'm gonna work the rest of the model. And I will try to use only X2, no angle plates. So let's get going. Start your timers. Get a good laugh at me. We're gonna work from correct plane. We're gonna do some lines. We have lines. We have some lines stuff up here. I'm just gonna go and draw the profile. Oops, sorry. I wanna fix it out yet. Down, 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 down. And up, and we go out here like that. We are going to make uh, these two lines uh, here. Let's see, Colina. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stop. Uh, stupid fusion. Colina. And we're going to make uh, these three lines here. Colina. Horizontal constraint between this point and here. This point and here. We're going to start some dimension D on the keyboard. Here is uh, 200. That one is 50, 37.5, that one is 25, and that whole dimension. Of course, this is an exercise, so uh, a lot of dimensions are a bit, I wouldn't say stupid, but they are placed in a maybe a bit strange way sometimes, just to get your brain thinking what's going on here. Uh, and uh, that one, so last one, 25. We're gonna need an arc, three point arc from here to here. It's gonna go a bit down. We're gonna do dimension, right click, uh, tangent between here and here. And that's gonna be five millimeters. Did I forget something? Let's see, what can we move? Can we still move this one? Well, oh yeah, I need to dimension already. That's going to be 50. And by doing that, we have a fully defined sketch. Thank you. Finish sketch. Extrude. And it was 100 minus 100. Turn off that sketch. Spin the thing around. Create a sketch on this face. Project in the full geometry. Thank you. Hide the bodies. And we're going to keep everything at the bottom. We're going to remove these. We are going to do lines. Go like this. Goes up. Uh, perpendicular there, horizontal, some dimensions. This was uh, 100. This one here uh, is 50 plus 35. This here is gonna be 30 degrees. And by that, we have fully defined sketch. Yes, extrude to an old body. Uh, minus 35 times 2. And we select join like that, remove that, uh, fillets. There are some different ways to do this. This is the way I like to do it for the part. Create a sketch on that, project in that face, hide the body for now, line, cross section lines, midpoint, straight up from here to here. Still lines, not construction lines. We're gonna sketch the cutouts. If you have a smart way to do things, please share. Uh, constraint symmetry. These two are symmetrical on that. That two, those two are symmetrical on that. We're gonna need a dimension. That's gonna be ten. The dimension here. That is the same dimension. Oops. Uh, we're gonna have a circle which is twenty-five. We're gonna finish. We're gonna extrude. 
select the profiles you want, uh, all these, and also these, turn on body, minus 5 mm down, create a new sketch, go to turn on light again, we're gonna project in with center point, I have an auto projection turned off, circle 15, extrude, that direction, distance all, okay, we get a whole all the way through, thank you, turn off that sketch, create sketch, uh, this face here, project in face, yes, high body for now, makes it easy to see, line from corner, up, perpendicular, dimension, this angle was 20, the dimension of this line here is 40 plus 25, finish sketch, turn on body, extrude this face here, we're going to start from an offset plane that is minus 15, and then we're going to do a distance of minus 50, like that, head right, I do need to do some oops, fillets again, here and here, 25, we're going to create a sketch, here, project in that phase, yes, we're going to do a circle, that's going to be 25, do a circle, that's going to be 12, we're going to start with extrudes, uh, this profile, that direction, distance all, extrude that profile gonna be uh, 15 high and by that I should have done everything in the model so that's uh, how I do rapid modeling uh, oh I missed something I've done something wrong here let's go back oh no that one finish get uh, extrude did I miss something before that I must have missed the profile that profile too thank you oh you need to check yourself sometimes so now I'm finished <laughs> Sometimes means things won't work fast. Uh, so this is how I very rapidly put together this thing. And everything is in defined sketches and parameters. I can go back and change things and play around if I need to change something. So I just want to, you know, some people want me to share my workflow. Or all of us share our workflow. So this is how I did it. And if you have some questions about parts of a workflow, please put a comment. And I will put a video more specific on things I did. And all right. Uh, Take care, see you around, and goodbye.